just signed out of work and we're at Narita International Airport but I'm taking a domestic flight to Fukuoka. I'm gonna meet up with my friend and I'm so excited that I haven't seen her in like forever. So yeah, let's go. Apart is that the airport is right within the city center, so it only takes you like 20 minutes to get to where you need to go, and I think that's amazing. Morning from Fukuoka. I flew in last night to meet my friend Bea. Hi. <laughs> it's been years since we were able to see each other because I moved to Japan and she was still in Manila. But now she's doing an artist's residency here in Kyushu, so I'm really happy to have been able to catch up with her. So that's basically what we're gonna do. I've never been to Fukuoka, finally was able to check it off my bucket list. But first, we're gonna start with breakfast. Let's get to eating and exploring of Fukuoka. Yay! We got this coffee county which was right beside the bakery and I got something sweet and something savory. Bea, what did you get? She got some? Like honey stuff. Honey toast. Oh, and also Bea has a TikTok so please follow her. I will link it in the description down below. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Now we're walking to our first shrine of the day. It's called Kushida Shrine and it's really just, I feel like Fukuoka is a very walkable city. The busiest parts are pretty much concentrated in one area and I really like that everywhere you go there's some really beautiful river and you can see all the old little houses along the river and it's just such a nice atmosphere. You don't see much of that in Tokyo. And it's actually a regional specialty here at Fukuoka. It's called Mentaiko. They have it on everything. They have it like on rice, but they also have it on pasta, and it's really delicious. And this lunch set is actually really inexpensive. It's only 1,290 yen. But if you go like the basic plan, then it's only 1,000 yen, which makes it great value for money. Now that it's golden hour and it's cooled down a little bit, we're walking to Hori Park and we're just gonna see what's there. It's, I think, the biggest park in Fukuoka. Ohori Koen, Fukuoka Ken. Ohori Park, Fukuoka Prefecture. Ganda, they also have the swans. You must say, Baba, wala. Ayan, no, wait, no. Thank you. So cute. Hello. The famous Starbucks.
front of the beach. I'm not entirely sure if it's artificial or not, but we're also in front of Fukuoka Tower. I don't think we'll be going up because we do have to pay. And yeah, that's basically it. We just have to pay. So I don't think we're going to be going up. But it's still really nice to sit here and people watch. Surprisingly, there are a few people on the beach along with us. Particularly a group of like high school girls like <laughs> dipping their toes in the water. Um, and some couples. But it's just really nice and chill here. We also had ice cream. <laughs> Dip and dots. Dip and dots. Guys, it still exists. <laughs> Bea's dots. biggest discovery. and Bay and I are starting out with breakfast at White Glass Coffee. Today, our only agenda is to go to the Zaifu, which is the biggest and probably most iconic shrine in this area. And it's for students to pass their exams, to do well in school. While I'm not in school anymore, I am still studying Japanese. So I thought it would be a good idea to go. Um, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made it to the Zaifu and it's so lively. I wasn't expecting so many people to be here. They're mostly domestic tourists but I'm sure it's going to change because the borders are finally open and we've seen a few tourists, other tourists like us, like go around Fukuoka yesterday. So now we're in line to like pet this bull statue. I'm not entirely sure what it's for, but I'm sure it's like a lucky symbol maybe, so. back to her place in Itoshima and now I think I'm just gonna go explore around the city by myself I think I'll go to the port tower and then just explore Canal City I'm not entirely sure yet but I want a bike so let's go
Sport Tower and I also just came from the Fukuoka Asian Art Museum and the entrance is only 500 and you got access to two special or regular exhibits I think so that was really nice and everyone I noticed in Fukuoka is so friendly so you know how I've been traveling domestically a lot I think this city has the friendliest people <laughs> and I can't believe I'm saying that like for the first time in a long time I feel like the people in Fukuoka they're much more open-minded they're much nicer when I went to Naoshima sometime in the summer I really felt like a, a little bit of prejudice if I'm gonna be honest but the people here they're so much nicer so I really like Fukuoka I think it has a special place in my heart and I hope I can come back and bring Shogo here He's been here like twice before, but I think once was for work, so it'd be really nice to explore with him and let's just see what else we can get up to. I haven't gone to Canal City, which I think I really should. My accommodation is actually really near there, so yeah, let's take a 20-minute walk. Mm -hmm. 